New detection techniques being used at the crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant have revealed radioactive cesium in groundwater at the facility. But the plant's operators say levels are much lower than legal limits. Previously, Tokyo Electric Power Company had said levels were too low to detect. TEPCO officials said on Monday that they found 0.39 becquerels per liter of radioactive cesium-137 in water samples collected in April. They said the figure is lower than the in-house limit of 1 becquerel per liter, and it's considerably lower than Japan's legal limit of 90. TEPCO had previously stated that cesium levels were too low for its instruments to detect. But Nuclear Regulation Authority investigators directed it to improve its methods leading to the new findings. Officials say they'll remove local groundwater before it's polluted by contact with radioactive wastewater. 400 tons of radioactive water build up at the plant every day. Officials from TEPCO and the Natural Resources and Energy Agency set out a plan last month to lower the groundwater level by discharging it into the ocean. Local fishermen are against the idea, saying they fear the groundwater could be contaminated. Experts on a Japanese government panel have come up with a new idea to stop leaks of contaminated water at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. They say the ground, ground around reactor buildings should be frozen. About 400 tons of water a day is flowing into underground storage pools. Workers discovered last month that these pools were leaking water. The panel members want Tokyo Electric Power Company to freeze the ground to make a shielding wall around the buildings of four reactors. They say TEPCO should implement the measure by the middle of fiscal 2015. The experts also want the utility to pump up the groundwater from wells outside the buildings and release it into the ocean. They hope TEPCO can gradually reduce the flow of the water and stop it completely in eight years. The panel members also urged the government to help TEPCO maintain the frozen wall. The displaced residents of Namie Town in Fukushima have filed a petition with the government arbitration body demanding larger monthly compensation. More than two years have passed since the Fukushima nuclear disaster forced them to evacuate. Town Mayor Tamotsubaba and lawyers representing 11,602 people filed a claim on Wednesday at the Nuclear Damage Claim Dispute Resolution Center. They represent more than half of Namie's residents who were evacuated from the town in March 2011, just after the nuclear accident. The residents now live in various locations around the country. Each evacuee currently receives about $1,000 per month from Tokyo Electric Power Company, but the petition says the amount does not accurately reflect the amount they have suffered from the unprecedented nuclear disaster. They are demanding roughly $3,500 per month and a review of the current guidelines. The petition argues that the families and communities were broken up by the evacuation. It says the residents lost their livelihoods and have no idea yet how they will cover, recover. On behalf of Namiya Towns, former residents, I seek public understanding of how difficult life is for the evacuees. In a related move, Japan's upper house has unanimously passed a bill allowing victims of the Fukushima nuclear disaster to sue for damages beyond the statutory time limit. The new law will give claimants who fail to reach a mediated settlement in three years an extra month to file a suit in court. A government-appointed body has been mediating settlements between victims and the plant's operator, TEPCO. Many people who live near Fukushima Daiichi say they live in fear for their health. They say they were exposed to radiation after the nuclear accident two years ago. Now government-appointed arbitrators have granted compensation to one group of evacuees. The arbitrators recommended that Tokyo Electric Power Company pay damages to about 180 former residents of one district of Itate Village. The area is about 40 kilometers from the plant, and radiation levels there remain high. Lawyers for the residents say authorities issued the first evacuation order more than a month after the accident. 
The arbitrators accepted their claims that residents had lived during that time without protection against radiation. They decided TEPCO should pay about $10,000 each to pregnant women and to those 18 or younger. Other residents will get about $5,000 each. The residents have already received compensation for having to evacuate, but the amount did not cover anxieties about their health. Officials with the operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant are asking for more public money. They say they need it to compensate people who had to leave their homes after the accident in 2011. Officials with Tokyo Electric Power Company are asking for an extra $6.6 .6 billion from a state-backed public fund. They already have government permission to receive about $31 billion. Government leaders have capped aid for TEPCO at $50 billion. TEPCO officials estimate their costs will ultimately exceed that figure. They say local governments near the nuclear plant will likely claim more to cover the cost of decontamination. More than 25,000 people took to the streets of Tokyo on Sunday to oppose moves to restart nuclear power stations. Plant operators are preparing to apply to restart their reactors when the government introduces new safety guidelines in July. Only one of Japan's nuclear plants is currently online. Nobel Prize winning author Kenzaburo Oe said restarting nuclear plants is a betrayal of the people affected by the 2011 Fukushima Daiichi nuclear accident. Miyoko Watanabe used to run a farm near the plant. She says she regrets believing the lie that nuclear plants are safe. Prime Minister Abe said the government plans to export technologies for nuclear power generation. Japan should not take the wrong path by focusing too much on economic benefits. The participants marched near the Diet and the head office of Tokyo Electric Power Company, the operator of the Fukushima plant.